Hello everyone and welcome and we are playing some Mob of the Dead, this is part 2 of this um, Mob of the Dead gameplay as you can see we're in the docks area and we are being a bit silly here uh, being a bit risky not really watching our 6, we could put the trap on but that's a waste of points so we're not going to do that, it's only round 7 and the zombies are dying pretty easily at this point especially since though we have the M1927, the Tommy gun and we're just going to kill these guys what did we get? insta kill uh, I think this is the end of the round now don't last long these rounds really so we got two zombies left that's fine and I guess we're gonna go where are we gonna go? I'm gonna get trapped I think by these zombies come on Samuel I'm not gonna be able to get around him because there's two of them come on Steven Steven and Samuel you silly silly boys let's go down here I think we're gonna sh pick up some perks probably double tap hello and what else I'm gonna tr hopefully get some parts as well for the plane as you can see we have two parts already we got them in the last uh, video or video if you're from Sweden because Swedish people are awesome I'm gonna go nip up here go through here and wait, wait. oh hello Steven Oh, sorry, that's not Steven, that's Samuel. Um, I'm going to nip round here. Uh, we're going to pick up double tap. I'm going to smash the bottle on the floor like we're amazing. And then we're going to get sleight of hand, which is here. And I think we're just going to kill Samuel. Notice this door is now open as well. It's not electrified anymore, so we can go in and pick up the engine part for the plane. I'm going to head back towards the docks. We should be okay. I doubt we're going to die at this point. As I say, it's round only round, well, it was, it was only round seven, but it's round eight now. I'm going to head down here. We already got the part that was there as well. We got that last video. We see them spawning now. I think we're going to get the M1927 out. Or the Tommy gun, uh, if you prefer, just because it's a bit more powerful. So, we're back to the docks area. I'm guessing we're going to see a lot of zombies coming in from behind us. Unless they just switch spawns completely, I don't know. Oh, don't want to get that. That's a waste of points. Unless we really need it, of course. What was that? Another nuke. Oh my goodness. Could end this round now by killing all the zombies. That'd be good because it's right in our way. And then we could get the nukes. So we're gonna switch around here. We've got a few zombies left. We'll kill this guy. Because he's fast. So we've got one, two. We need some ammo as well. We've got two zombies left. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go around here and pick up some ammo. I think what would be a good idea is if we go back to the double points area and pick up some double points and try and get as many points as possible and uh, just try and uh, we do have enough afterlife points as well so we're going to be able to open all the gates that are back in the prison area all the cells that have the double points in them so we're going to come through here and we're going to go up here I'm going to do this. I'm going to sprint down here. Do that. 
which opens that door with the double points in it as you can see and then we're going to go down here around here and open this door which has the double points in it as well so we're going to go back up here and pick ourselves up like this and we're going to kill Steven I'm going to go pick up these double points and hopefully we're not going to die as well here let's wait till the start of the round ok they started coming we could get it ok oh max ammo we're just going to have to get that because that's in the way ok um, didn't really anticipate that so we're going to open this and the warden's going to be coming to get us so we're going to get a headshot on him I'm going to kill him we get an insta kill never really have much trouble with the warden it's just because he makes the screen shake can be a bit annoying Especially when you've got a huge horde of zombies behind you. Double points again. Excellent. We've got something there. Okay, so we see the dogs here. Little Rufus. We're just going to kill some zombies here. For him to eat up. I think we should be okay here. At this point. We can always nip up here. If we get stuck. Excellent. Oh my goodness, that's so good. That <laughs> we've got another double points. So we can build up a huge amount of points by the end of this round. Okay. That's fine, I think. Trying to feed our little friend Rufus here. It is a bit tight. Okay, so we fed Rufus. Let's go up here. Because it is a bit, it was getting a bit tight up there. Juggernaut helping us out. So, how many have we got left? We've got three, or quite a few actually. They're still spawning. That's two left. And we're going to go this way. I'm going to take a right over here. This is going towards the... Um, okay, the cafeteria is down there. We don't need to go there. This is... What place is it? I can't remember. This is where the, the dog comes next, I believe. And there's also a part in here for the plane. And the plane is above us on the roof. So we've picked up the control valve. And we're going to see a little sign here. And if you just keep your ma keep uh, that in mind, we are... Let's have a look. We're going to down ourselves. We could get the shirt. Okay, let's go get... Let's go get the final part and then we'll come back up here. And I'll show you the significance of that little symbol that we saw on the wall there. So, let's go this way. I'm going to head down. And down again. And there's, there's a few doors that I'm not going to open, so I'm going down the long way. So we're going into the Citadel Tunnels. So where speed caller is, uh, sorry, double tap. We've already got that. So we're going to go this way instead now. Notice there's a sign there. We're going to see the significance of that hopefully soon. We open this door. And as we can see, we need the warden's key again, because that's a special padlock. And there's a washing machine and this 
a little module here that we need to electrify to power the washing machine. So we're going to go all the way over here. I'm going to touch this. Stick our fingers in here like a little naughty little child. We're going to swing around up here. And we're going to go in here and we're going to electrify this. Let's see if there's anything else we can do actually. I don't think there is. Uh, that's close by anyway. Yeah, let's just do this. And then I'm going to show you basically uh, what happens. Notice the power's on, the power's going all the way over here when we turn on this washing machine. Um, it does get a bit hairy. There's a lot of zombies that come. So make sure if you're in this situation that you're on your toes. Basically, if you just run around here, you'll be fine, I think. If you've got decent weapons. Um, and obviously, Juggernaut, you need Juggernaut at this point. A zombie, right? A zombie shield would be good as well. But. Um, we don't have that. So notice the door is on fire up there. That's because we can't escape while the washing machine is is doing our little laundry. Um, our clothes are very smelly. Got zombie juice all over them. So we just stick them in the washing machine, and I think it's finished now. Yes. So the zombies should have stopped coming. It's not a bad little point earner as well. If you're wanting some points, uh, you're gonna have to do that anyway, though. If you do want to get on the plane and get pack a punch. So we have a few zombies left. Okay, so we have two zombies left, and we've injured one of them, I think, so this is not looking good. They could die. So we're going to go up and pick the shirt. Excellent. And we have now all the parts for the plane, to build the plane. And I think we're going to wait until we get some decent weapons from the box before we actually go... Uh, on the plane and go get a pack a punch. So I think we're going to go get the last perk that I want, which is dead shot. Um, I don't know if I am actually going to get that actually. No, 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 no I'm not going to. Let's go get the cherry reload electric thing that we're going to see up here. Here it is. It needs to be powered though, so we're going to have to go over here. We're going to stick our fingers in the electric socket. And then we're gonna go over here. It spawned us over here, which is fantastic. So we're gonna shock that. And now this is the electric cherry. And we're over there. So this is where it is. And we can get that now when we're back in human form. So we're gonna do that. And what this does is basically when you reload, it electrifies everything around you. And you can see the electric. Um and it can stab zombies, uh, sorry, kill zombies, damage zombies. Um, if they're around you, if you're surrounded or something. It's not too powerful, but it's better than the dead shot, I think, because I thought the dead shot might actually give you more damage, but it doesn't. It only um, lets you aim for the head, and that can get a bit tricky sometimes, especially if you're surrounded and you're tapping the left trigger to snap on with the aiming. Uh, it can turn you around all over the place, and it can, um, it can really get you stuck when you're in a when you're surrounded by a horde of zombies. I mean that's just auto aim in general really. It can get you into trouble. So that's a good thing to bear in mind. So we're gonna wait for this gondola, it has to recharge as well when it comes up. Then we're gonna go down here. It's green notice the light so it's ready. So we're gonna go down here. We're also gonna I think at the end of the next round we're just gonna go have loads of spends on the box. Uh notice the zombie did die because he was injured. Um so yeah, it's the end, start of the next round. But I think for now this is going to be the end of this particular video or video if you're Swedish. So yeah, I'll see you all in uh, the next video.